Hello world, Prof Mike Green back with uh, a longer video. We're going to do lessons 7, 8, and 9 in the video series Learning How to Code with Codecademy.com and the JavaScript programming language. I'm excited about this video because we start to get into why on earth did I pick JavaScript? This is for a web development, web design course that I teach at Rappahannock Community College. JavaScript is a web programming language that interacts with web pages. And we're going to get our first a little taste of how it actually goes about doing that. We're presented with this code here, and, and this is a nice easy lesson. We actually don't have to do anything, but I want to explain what's going on. Uh, we're using something called a function. JavaScript has uh, a function called confirm. And anything I put inside of these parentheses, so if I just kind of get rid of those, this is what it looks like by default. Confirm, parentheses, semicolon. Anything I put inside of them, in this case we want to put a string, it's going to present a pop-up window, and that text is going to be put inside of the pop-up. That's what the confirm function does. It allows me to do OK or cancel. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK, and we'll move on to lesson 8. Lesson 8 is very simple, builds off of lesson 7. We're going to write our own confirm function. So We'll come in, confirm, double parentheses. Inside of it, we'll put our double quotes. And in there, we'll put a string having fun yet. We'll go ahead and save and submit. And that's what pops up on the screen. We'll tell it OK. That'll bump us up to lesson nine. Lesson nine, we get a different, a, a, a different pop-up function that JavaScript has. So instead of confirm, this is going to be prompt. It's going to be very similar but slightly different. It's going to give us a text field in order to allow our user to respond back to us. So it's, it's set up the same way. We're going to use prompt instead of confirm. And we're inside of that. We're going to put a string. And we're going to say, what is your name? And we will save and submit that. And you can see the difference. It still puts the text in that we typed as our parameter. But now our user can respond back to us and say that my name is Pop Mike Green. Now, we haven't written anything to do anything with this, but we could. And that's, again, the power of JavaScript. Tell it OK. And that's the end of Lesson 9. Thanks for watching.